Hi Gravitrax fans, this is Chris with The Masked Marble. Which Gravitrax power set should you buy? What is Gravitrax power? Well, it's the third series in the Gravitrax universe. The first series was the basic sets. The second series was the pro sets, which added vertical components like walls and pillars and balconies so you could build taller. The third series, which is being released, is the Gravitrax Power series, which adds battery-powered elements which communicate with one another through radio control. There's also a controller. Which of the Gravitrax Power sets should you buy? There's going to be three starter sets, one extension set, and two elements, and maybe more as we go along. Let's look here in Gravisheet version 7.8, which shows the three starter sets in the Gravitrax Power series are the launch, the switch, and the XXL, which is an unfortunate choice of name since we already have an XXL starter set. There's an interaction extension for those who already have Gravitrax and want to add the Gravitrax power elements, and then you can buy the individual elements of the elevator and lever. We're going to go through what's in each of these, but you can look here to the right and there's four sets that have the controller, three that have the dome starter, three that have the elevator, three that have the lever, three that have the switch, three that have the target trigger, four that have the target arena, two that have the trigger that's not the target trigger, and four that have the Q tile. Essentially any set that has either the elevator or lever is going to have a Q tile in it. So what do these parts do? The controller when you hit a green, red, or blue button, it's going to activate any element that is that color. Each element has a lit up color button that you can use to select that radio channel and then the controller can control that channel depending on which button you press. The dome starter, when it is activated, releases a marble. It launches a marble. An elevator, when a marble comes in, it lifts that marble all the way to the top, up seven height tiles. The lever, it acts by gravity just like a scoop when a marble comes in and lifts that marble up, but the electronic part of it is that it resets itself. You can set how it resets itself, whether it resets itself immediately or by a signal that it receives later on. The switch switches based on uh, receiving a signal or you can manually press the, the button. The target trigger and the trigger both send out a signal when they sense a marble going through them. The target arena is not a powered element, it's just a catcher, but the nice thing is you can lift that catcher off of the base and then use that to pour the marbles back into the dome starter. Then the Q-tile, it merges three incoming routes that uh, the marbles come in and then it cues them to go into either the elevator or the lever. So let's look at the sets. By the way, I have a lot of links I'm going to uh, share with you. There's a bunch of articles that have come out about Gravitrax power. I'm going to share all these links in the description below. Let's look at the starter set launch. That's set 27013. And I'm going to share the set numbers because if you want to search for these sets online, a lot of times it's good to search for Gravitrax and then the set number. Because of language differences, you may not get all of the uh, search results that you want if you just search for a starter set launch. In the U.S., the starter set launch is launching in September for $100 at Target only. Here's the cover of that. All right here, you see that we have a three-way merge, a vortex, uh, three of the junction tiles, 21 curve tiles. Here's one of the power elements, the trigger, that sends out an electronic signal whenever a marble goes through it, and that signal can be received by this dome starter. Target arena, you got two switches, three, three base plates. Basically, your uh, starter set elements, your height tiles, you get four base plates, one clear platform, your rails, and then you also get the controller, the Gravitrax Power controller. So what's in the starter set launch that is Gravitrax Power? It's that controller, that dome starter, that trigger. Those are the electronic elements, the three electronic elements, and then you get the uh, target arena, which is a non-powered element. And for $100, that seems like it's going to be a pretty good deal. What's next? The second starter set is the starter set switch. That's uh, set 272747. Here's what it looks like uh, on the front. So why do they call it switch? Because it comes with the Gravitrax power switch. It has more of the basic uh, starter set elements with some of these uh, unique tiles. It has a magnetic cannon. 
ribbon tile. It also comes with a flip, but look down here, you have the switch. That's the Gravitrax power element and you don't have a dome starter. You have instead a spinner. You have a controller. Now the thing that's missing that I think really should be part of the set is there's no trigger. That means the only two electronic elements you're getting in the starter set switch is the controller and the switch. What does that mean? That means you can only electronically activate the switch with the controller. You know, if you wanted to do it manually, I mean, you can just take a regular Gravitrax switch and switch it manually. So not seeing the big value of this set, there is no trigger to actually activate that switch. So I'm going to suggest this is probably not the starter set that you want to get. Um, again, it has four uh, base plates, it has your basic starter set. But it does have the Bernoulli rails and the slow rail and the fast rail. So it's got some extra elements in it, as well as the small clear platform. And then, of course, those, um, those fancy tiles, like the ribbon tile and so forth, and the flip. But, but if you're going for power, I'm going to say this is not the set to get. It doesn't have a trigger. By the way, it does have three target arenas so that you can apparently switch the marbles to three different destinations, but I don't even see why you need the new target arena because there is no dome starter for the marbles into. So this doesn't seem like the best conceived. But this starter set switch is supposed to be 100 euros, I believe, from the information that I have seen. And this is really preliminary. There's only one or two sites that have the starter set switch even listed right now. Let's go to the third starter set, which is a starter set XXL. That set 27014, going to be on Amazon.com and RainbowResource.com in the US for $330 in October. I think it's gonna be a lot less expensive probably in Europe for a couple reasons that I'll mention later. Um, anyways, it is shown on Amazon.de, but it doesn't have any price associated with it because it's currently not in stock. When we look at the contents of the starter set XXL, we see that XXL does not refer to the same thing it refers to with the basic series of Gravitrax. So in other words, they're using XXL in two different meanings. In the basic series, they use XXL to mean you get lots of basic components. In the power series, they use the XXL to denote that you're getting all of the power components but not any more of the basic components for the most part. So what's in the starter set XXL? We got our 21 curve tiles, that's typical. Some of the, uh, some of the fancy curves, you know, just one three-way merge, one vortex, three junctions, two switches. Um, here, there is a three-way vortex. That's cool, a couple more of the fancy um, tiles. And then of course you get two of the new Q tiles, which is uh, new with the Gravitrax power. Why do you need those? Because over here you have both the lever and the elevator from the Gravitrax power. So since you have two of those, you get two Q tiles to line up marbles at their entrances for base, uh, base plates, your typical rails, your typical inserts. Uh, you get an extra marble, you get seven marbles instead of six. You get one, I don't know what that is, that's new. Maybe it's an instruction sheet. Uh, two manuals. Okay, the 40 and the 12 height tiles, that's typical. So what are the Gravitrax power components it comes with? With, uh, like I said, it comes with one of everything. You get your um, target arena, one target trigger, one regular trigger. You get your switch, your controller, your dome starter, the lever, and the elevator. And then of course you get a large and small clear platform. So you're getting all of the Gravitrax power uh, components, all 10 of them, if you, if you include the two Q tiles. Is this the best deal? At $330 US, no, it's not the best deal, I don't think. Depends what price it is in, in uh, Europe. Those are the three starter sets that are coming out. But what might be a better deal? Well, let's look back here at the next set, which is the Extension Interaction, set 26188. This is not a full starter set. This is just an extension set for those who already have a Gravitrax starter set. This would probably be the way to go because all it contains are the Gravitrax power elements. 
Um, it has the one target trigger, the one regular trigger, the one target arena. It has the elevator, the lever, the dome starter, the switch, two Q tiles, which are used again for the elevator and lever, and the controller. So it's all of the Gravitrax power elements in its own extension kit. This would seem to make the most sense for those who already have Gravitrax. 160 euros is what the prices are, are, are stating. So that's a much better deal than a $330, 330 euro um, XXL starter set. But again, I think the XXL power starter set is gonna be less in Europe because the interaction extension uh, rainbowresource.com in the U.S. has that for $280 right now, their preliminary uh, pricing information. So it seems like the U.S. sets may be quite a bit more expensive. But like you can see here in the Gravis Sheet, that interaction extension has all of them, all of the components, just like the XXL starter set has all of the components. So if you really want everything, the XXL starter set or the uh, power, and I'm talking about the power XXL starter set, or the power interaction extension are your two options to get everything that's available in the Gravitrax Power Series. You can also buy a couple of the elements separately, which are the elevator and lever, which are both priced at 27 euros. Let's take a look at those, what comes in them. Okay, the element lever comes with one lever and one Q-tile. The element elevator also comes with an elevator and a Q-tile, and we know this because we're starting to see unboxing videos. Here's one from uh, Gravitrax Player, where he's taken out the elevator, and you can see that there behind the elevator is the Q-tile that's also in the box. So there's the Q-tile. So that is the full lineup. The extension interaction is 26188. The element lever is 26186. Those are the, uh, the part numbers of the sets. The XXL is 27014. I'm gonna put all of this information down in the uh, description below. So let's just finish comparing the three starter sets by looking at the non-power elements in them. All three of these starter sets have four base plates, one large clear platform. The switch and XXL are going to have the small clear platform. They all have um, the red marble, the green marble, the blue marble. Four silver marbles except the switch has three. They all have 12 small height tiles and 40 large height tiles. All three of these uh, new power starter sets have nine short tracks, six medium tracks, three long tracks. But the switch has the long speed track, the long slow track, they all have a finish line, and again, that switch has the three different Bernoulli rails, eight total of them, two straight, three left turn, and three right turn. It has a few more curved tiles at 28, whereas the Launch and XXL have 21. That XXL has quite a few of these extra pieces, but so does the switch. So they, they have various fancy tiles that were introduced in the advent calendar set last year. The XXL also has a basic landing. They all have three junction tiles, except the switch has four. They all have one three-way merge, two switches, a two entrance vortex. They all have three basic tiles with inserts. Okay, so again, the switch has a flip. It has a magnetic cannon and it has a spinner. So that's where the switch is putting its money. It's not putting it into giving you a trigger. It's putting it into some of the other stuff. So, Again, between the launch and the switch, both 100 euros. They both have that controller. One has the dome starter and the trigger, and then one has that switch. So I wouldn't buy the switch, with, not without a trigger. I, I'm not sure what Ravensburger was thinking there. If you want to automate your switch, you really need a, a trigger or a target trigger, one of the two. So that's your options for Gravitrax Power. Which one should you buy? It depends which parts you want, but if you want all of the Gravitrax Power pieces, you're either going to want the XXL starter set, the new power one, not the old XXL starter set, don't get the confused, or you want the interaction extension if you already own Gravitrax. Um, again, the XXL starter set, the new power one, uh, if it's $330, 
that doesn't make much sense. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend that. Although, if in the US the interaction extension is $280, maybe that extra $50 is worth it. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no because you can get a starter set for much cheaper than $50. So that's it. I hope this information is helpful. Let me know in the comments which set you plan to buy of the new Gravitrax Power series. We'll see you next time.